This video will probably make you angry. So here's how it goes. Earlier this week, Israeli Minister of National Security, Itamar Ben Gvir, decided to visit the Temple Mount in Jerusalem as it was a special fasting day in Judaism that commemorates the destruction of the Temple. Nothing wrong with that so far, right? He didn't go to provoke or to start a war, just to visit the holiest site in Judaism. But apparently, it was a big crime against humanity because 24 hours later, the UN Security Council held a meeting on his visit to Temple Mount and countries condemned Israel for disrupting the status quo, basically causing conflict. <laughs> Listen, it took the UN days until it called for a Security Council meeting on the Ukraine-Russia war. It didn't hold an emergency meeting when the Islamic regime in Iran executed protesters or after more than 6,000 Christians were massacred in Nigeria in 2022. Heck, not even on Venezuela or Cuba, but an Israeli minister who simply visited the holy site in Judaism and walked on Temple Mount, which is under Israeli sovereignty and territory, by the way, 24 hours later, the UN Security Council is meeting on this. What a shame. The Temple Mount is where King Solomon built the first temple in the year 957 BC. And later, Jews built the second temple in the year 352 BC. The Christians also built a church named after St. Mary of Justinian in the year 561 CE, all of which happened before the Al-Aqsa Mosque or the Dome of the Rock were built. No disrespect, but the first temple was built 1,662 years before Al-Aqsa. But today, Jews and Christians are not allowed to pray on Temple Mount because it disrupts the peace in the region. <laughs> Who are they to tell me what to do on my land? Wherever you put a shovel here, you will find that Jewish history, not a Palestinian one, because it doesn't exist. I don't buy this BS of Israel violating the status quo. What disrupting peace is lies. Because with one hand, the Palestinians are saying that they come in peace, but with the other hand, they are throwing rocks on Jews and Israeli security forces. If the Palestinians care so much about the Temple Mount, then why are they treating it like this? Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian dictator, always travels to the UN to cry out loud about how much he wants to make peace, but the Israelis are the obstacle to peace. No, terrorism is the obstacle to peace. Paying terrorists and their families is the obstacle to peace. Not going up on Temple Mount or building homes in Judea and Samaria. Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian dictator, would rather travel to the other side of the world, to New York City, to talk about his desire for peace, but refuses to drive 20 minutes from Ramallah to Jerusalem to actually make peace. He is a liar. In Isaiah 56 verse 7, it is written, I will bring them to my holy mountain of Jerusalem and will fill them with joy in my house of prayer. I will accept their burnt offerings and sacrifices because my temple will be called a house of prayer for all nations. The Temple Mount should be a house of prayer for all nations. Coexistence is biblical, but unfortunately, we don't see this today. Every human being, no matter their faith, should be allowed to visit the Temple Mount. Please share this video. Let's get the truth to as many people as possible.